Yeah, it's me. Leave your message at the beep and I'll come back to you. It's your mother. Now get your ass out of bed. I know you're there, John. John? I said get up, get up, John. John, if you don't pick up this phone, I'll be in your face in five minutes. Yeah, Ma. What are you wearing today? My birthday suit. Very funny. I want you to wear that nice tie I bought for you. The polka dot tie? Get out of here. That sucks. What did you say? Uh, it, it, it's seersucker. I, I hate seersucker. Polka dots are not seersucker. Just wear it. It'll make a good impression. On who? The rats? Ma, I'm a plumber. Remember? Just do it for your mother. Ma... John. Yeah, okay. Okay, whatever you now, want. Now, what have you done with Amy? I got her boiling in garlic oil. Don't get smart with me. Why haven't you asked her out? Ma, I think it's pretty obvious. What did you say? I, I said she's pretty, but it's obvious I haven't had time. Well, you better make time, mister. You two are perfect together. She'll make a nice little homemaker. Mark my words, it's a match made in heaven. I think I'll wait till I get there. Stop smart-mouthing with me, young man. Why is it I haven't seen you with any woman? Why is that, John? Don't you like women anymore? <gasps> John, are you gay? No, Ma, I'm not gay. Thank heaven. Then what is it with you? Why haven't I met any of your girlfriends? None are right for you, Ma. You mean of all the women out there, you can't find even one to marry? One's easy. I was going to marry three at the same time. Cheaper in the long run. Figure at least one will last me a lifetime. It's like the warranty they give you when you buy a water faucet. Cut the crap and listen to me. It's time you got married. You need children. I need grandchildren. I need my only child to bear fruit. And in my lifetime, don't you love your mother? Ma, just drop it, okay? No, I won't. Amy's perfect for you. Poor thing's just waiting for you, John. She's not my type. And what is your type? Some biker slut? Well, don't you go on and admit Ma, it. it's just... I'm sick and tired of your excuses. Now, I'm having Amy over for dinner tonight, and I want you there. Well, I'm busy. You be there and think sharp, mister. Ma, you're making me late for work. Love you. You Bye. hear me, John? I said think sharp. Bye. I'm expecting I'm... you. Maybe they're geeks and dorks, but 
They can make babies in less time than it takes you to put on shoes. That's just the problem. Daddy, I gotta get to my new job. New job? What happened to the last one? Oh, all well, the guys kept hitting on me. What? Did you hit him back? You should have hit him back. Who the hell were they? No one hit my daughter. It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. It didn't hurt. I love you. Have a nice day, Daddy. Where do I get my hands on? I'll kill him.
Whoa! It's 8 o'clock and I'm seeing a 10. What I wouldn't give to do her plumbing. Call that better living through chemistry? This is Harry Armas. Welcome aboard. Please extinguish all smoking materials during this story because it's going to get hot enough as it is. And fasten your seat belts because I'm about to turn this story over to you. Your assignment, should you accept it, is to get these two lovebirds together. You know how difficult it is in real life. One wrong move, and you're sitting home on a Saturday night. One wrong move here, and the consequences for these lovers could be dire and unexpected. Fair warning, sport. Go ahead, make their day, and your choice. But you better make it damn good. Remember, we're keeping score. Hi, my name's John. I'd like to make you, uh, I mean, meet you. <laughs> At least he speaks his mind. Hi, I'm Jane. God, he's cute. Great smile. Jane? John and Jane? Corny. I guess I could change my name to Tarzan. You know what? I really have to go, but it's nice meeting you, John. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing later? For lunch. Can I buy you lunch? I can't seem too eager. Let's see how he handles rejection. Uh, I don't think hey, so. Hey, wait, 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 wait. How about dinner? A weekend in Paris? Five minutes to conversation. I promise I'll be good. Hey, sport. Harry again. John made the first move just like you wanted him to, and look what happened. She slipped him from his grasp. We know she'd like to meet him. She knows she'd like to meet him. But does John know she'd like to meet him? What's a guy to do? It's up to you, sport. Flowers are magic. Simple, I'll just wait for you. Here in the parking lot. You're crazy. About you? Yes. Just give me a chance, please. He's persistent. I like that. Great looking bod, too. Give me your work number and I'll call you about lunch. Uh, 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 uh today, uh, today's not a good day. Uh, why? What do you do? Uh-oh. 
she's trolling for financial data already. Damn, I know, I'll just lie. Uh, uh I'm, I'm a rep, you know, uh, yeah, a representative. Oh, an account rep. My new boss is some kind of an account rep. Maybe you know him, Mark Thresher. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mark. Mark Thresher, sure, he rings the bell. I uh, probably had a drink with him at one of uh, the exclusive account rep clubs around here. Oh my goodness, maybe you two work in the same office. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, no, no, no. Different offices. How do you know? Oh, uh, well, you see, I'm an independent. I work my own account rep territory. I got my own office. Your own office? You must be very successful. Oh, I do all right. I'm really late. I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me your home number and I'll call you there, okay? Oh, yeah, that would be better. You know, today's a killer. I got meetings scheduled every hour. Lots of clients. Big clients. You know, big deals today. Lots of big deals. Tonight. Call me tonight. Okay, I'll call you tonight. When? Mm, how about eight? You're perfect. Uh, <laughs> I mean, perfect timing. No, please, I gotta go. I'll be waiting for your call. I won't eat till I hear from you. You won't let me starve to death, will you? I'm too young to die. What a smile. What a bod. She's perfect. We're perfect together. I know we are. I gotta go check my horoscope. What if she doesn't call? What if she loses the number? I'll never see her again. I know. I'll put my number on her windshield, just in case. God, what if it blows away? What if someone takes it? Damn. Now I'm late for work. I can't go to work. This is too important. I'll call in lovesick. I just can't lose her. Your qualifications are outstanding, your recommendations superb, and yes, I know I promised you a job, but what happened was completely out of my control. Your position was canceled just an hour ago. I'm sure you'll find another job soon. But Mr. Thresher, I came all the way from El Monte. I was looking forward to this job so much, and, and I do love downtown LA. I mean, I don't like the muggers or the dirt or the slums only two blocks away or the trash or the homeless or the poverty or the crime or the potholes or every other person asking for a handout, but I really do love L.A. There, there. Please, call me Mark. Oh, God, this is the most humiliating experience of my entire life. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Jane. If you're looking for work, you'll have lots of humiliating experiences. Oh, but isn't there something here for me? I'll... I know, I'll start in the mail room. I'll empty trash. I'll, can I clean up offices? I'll, I'll even make coffee. I, I can work my way up the organization. I, I just need someone to give me a chance, please. Mr. Thresher, I don't have a lot of money. I was counting on this job, praying for this. Oh God, Mark, I'm, I'm desperate.
You know, perhaps something can be worked out after all. Yes? Take your clothes off, Jane. I beg your pardon? You know, we get at least 200 qualified applicants for every position here. It's those people who do that little extra thing. They're the ones who get ahead. I mean, get ahead. Take my clothes off? You can't be serious. I'm not whistling Dixie, Jane. Now, if you're serious about this job, you'll follow my first directive and remove your clothing. Here? Now? Read my lips. No one told me about this part of the interview. I, I remember when I was just a little girl and I got lost in the park and I felt so alone. I couldn't find my daddy. He was nowhere around. No one was around. I, I just sat down and bawled my little head off until... Take your damn clothes off! See how your sick curiosity led Jane into this mess? What kind of perverted monster are you? I promise I'll get the job if I do this one thing, Mr. Thresher. I give you my personal guarantee, my dear. Well, I guess it'll be all right, won't it? Of course it'll be all right. You'll be very happy working under me. Well, okay then. That's better. That's the spirit. I knew you could do it. Hope you don't mind being videotaped. Mark, how did you know? Know what? But I like this kinky stuff. I've seen a lot of men like you. Big boys with big cars and big offices with their big chests puffed up all the time. All of this show to make up for that teeny little pee, right? Deep down inside, you're just a confused little boy, aren't you? I... You really don't like being the boss, do you, Mark? You'd rather have somebody else be the boss, wouldn't you? Uh, I... I... You'd rather be my subordinate. You mark. Now take your clothes off, you filthy little boy.
You've done it. You've really done it. How could you make Jane into such a perverted young thing? She was such an innocent girl before you started screwing around with this story. Is this what you want? I've guided a lot of people through this story, but I've never seen such a disgusting series of plot choices in my life. But now that I know who I'm dealing with, I'm going to give you one last chance to redeem yourself and get this story back on track. After this little episode, your score may be the lowest in this game's history. I hope you'll enjoy Saturday Night Television. I'll get the job if I do this one thing, Mr. Thrasher. This little gesture will prove you're a team player, Jane. You have my word you'll get the job. Well, I guess it'll be all right this one time, won't it? Of course it will. You'll be very happy here working under me. Well, okay then. Why don't you get comfortable? Take a seat in that other chair. Now that's better. That's the spirit. I knew you could do it. Hope you don't mind being videotaped. Oh, Mr. Thrusher, Mark, I don't mind if you don't. in here with that perky little face and those bouncy little breasts of yours and you get whatever you want. I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. <laughs> you little bitch. No one does that to me. Jane, run! The damsel in distress? Chased by a killer wielding a letter opener? Well, sport, do you think you can handle this choice without getting the lowest score in the history of this game? Who the hell are you? I'm taking over this story. Over my dead body?
Run! Stop right there, mister! Let her go, she's nothing but trouble. What a gorgeous tie! From your mother? Yeah, how did you know? Only a mother could give a son a tie like that. Well, I had to wear it because... You know, you've got a beautiful body. You must work out. You know, I ride motorcycles, too. Don't you just love the feeling of the power between your legs? I never really thought about it that Don't way. Don't be shy. Now, I know it's awkward. I've seen a lot of young men like you confused about their feelings. Confused? Well, yeah, I have been kind of messed up. Like I said, I know a lot about you. I can see it in your eyes. By the way, my name is Mark. My name's John. You're not confused now about your feelings, are you? Well, I kind of... Now like... that's a start. Why don't we go someplace quiet where we can talk man to man? What do you say? Well, sure. Sure, why not? Daddy was right. Not all men are dorks and geeks. Some are dorks and some are geeks and some are... Would you like to meet my mother? Jane, run!
train, run! Wait, wait a minute, whoa, uh, 
I can make you an offer you won't refuse. There's no way you'll refuse it. It's been proven in many, many movies. What? A real job? Like in Working Girl? No, I'm offering you a lot more than that. Try five million dollars. Five million? For what? One night with you. <laughs> believe how disgusting this story is. In the name of women throughout the world, I demand this story be stopped right now. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow this sexist trash to continue. I am going to liberate... What are you doing here? much for that liberation front. I'm back in control now. No one takes over my story. Men have been beaten, kicked, slugged, and spat on throughout this sorry tale. I'm telling you, I've had it with these uppity women. They can take over businesses, they can take over the damn government for all I care, but the one thing they will not take over is my story. And this story ain't over till I say it's over. Now let me see how you screwed up this time. Uh-huh. Just as I thought. You know, I give you a simple little task like getting these two lovebirds together, and look what happens. I hate to imagine what your love life is like. Now let's see if you can save Jane from yourself. Five million bucks for a night with her? Hey, what out. This is between me and Thresher, uh, Mark. Now let me get this straight. You want to pay me five million big ones for a one-night stand? Hmm. That's right, sweet cheeks. Five million to experience your abundant charm. Hey, bub. Five million bucks just bought all my charm. Let's get to it. What, 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 what about us? Go ride your bicycle. You're boring me. God, I can't believe you're so easy. I should have known. First thing I saw were those slutty eyes of yours. Sultry eyes, biker. Right, Thrasher? Right, Thrasher? You know, he's right. You are easy. I overestimated you. For five million bucks, I get the whole weekend. A whole weekend? You whore. Hormone? What were you going to do, buy me a soda and expect the same thing? I ain't that easy. You want a weekend?
prostitute. Oh, yeah? What do you call this deal? It's business. Dasher's gonna make me rich. Make me feel like a virgin. Right, Dasher? Take more than a weekend to do that. Shut your mouth. Okay, okay. So I'm easy. So what? Just don't tell my daddy about this one. Come on, Thresher. You got my number. You wore me down. I'll give you a break. You got me for the original price. Five million for the whole weekend. Deal? What's wrong? You got the money, right? I asked you a question, bub. You got five million bucks for me or don't you? What, you don't think I'm worth five mil? How about a hundred? Why you... <laughs> I told you. How about a thousand for the weekend, huh? Huh? How about it? A thousand? Gee, I don't know. You got a thousand for me? Yeah, yeah, I got a thousand. But it's got to be for the whole weekend. I got this real nice, real luxurious bachelor pad in Pacoima. What do you say? We got a deal? What about the job? We'll talk about that over breakfast. Jane, you can't. He's such a slime ball. How, how, how could you? How, how could you go to bed with him? Jane, I love you. I didn't mean what I said. I mean, but five million's nothing compared to our love. You're a loser. Shall we, my dear? But of course. Just one question. How did you know? Know what, my lovely? I could be bought. I've seen a lot of young girls like you, confused about love and money. The answer was in your eyes. My eyes? Really? The eyes are everything, my dear. Are they really slutty like he said? Yes, my dear, your friend was right. You are a slut. If it's in my eyes, then I can't help it. I was born this way. Whatever. I don't believe it. Daddy will be proud. I'm going to make it with the geek. Hey, Thresher, you belong to the lodge? Hey, congratulations. Now you've really screwed up the story. Think about it. Jane ends up with a hairball and enters the oldest profession in the book. Now John has to face his mother and Amy over dinner. John marries Amy, has three children to please his mother, and leads an unremarkable and miserable existence. You just ruined two lives in one scene. Way to go, sport. Now look. You can either end the story under these unfortunate circumstances, you have only yourself to blame for, by the way, or you can see what happens when Jane declines Thresher's ridiculous offer. Who do you think you're talking to? Some bimbo? Who the hell do you think she is? Hey, let the lady speak for herself. Tell him. Tell him hell's gonna freeze over before you'd accept such a ludicrous offer. 
Jane, I love you. I loved you the moment we met. I waited for you. I idolized you. I've seen you in my dreams. It is a lot of money. But what about us? I, I, I couldn't stand it. Just knowing you, you, you were with him. Even if it is only one night. What's one lousy night? What were you going to do? Buy me pizza and expect the same thing? No, of course not. Jane, it's not that way. I don't want you for a night. I want you for a lifetime. I've been searching for me, for you. <laughs> Freudian slip? Jane, it's not that way. I don't want you for a night. I want you for a lifetime. I've been searching for you. I mean, okay, maybe you're not perfect. Maybe you do like money too much. Maybe you are a daddy's girl. Maybe you are spoiled rotten, but you can't be bought. That sort of thing only happens in movies. Who do you think you're kidding? It happens every day in the streets. How about a thousand for a couple of hours? Sure thing, buddy. Your place or mine. Whoa! You're disgusting! Then you two should be perfect together. He's all yours. Come on, Tiger, let's leave these lovebirds alone. Wait, whoa! Wait a minute! Can't leave me here with her! What about the police? Call the police! Deal's a deal. You called it. See, Thrasher, you can buy love. You just proved it. Don't worry, honey. He'll get his money's worth. Help. Help me. You can't... Wait a minute. You can't leave me here. <laughs> Thank you for what you did. That was very brave. No one's ever done anything like that for me. Oh, I was nothing. Did you, did you really mean what you said? You know how you felt about me? I have never felt like this about anyone. This is so crazy. I, I feel so overwhelmed. I love you so much. It's such a crazy world. If, if anything should happen, if, if something should keep us apart, Oh, kiss me, Jane. Kiss me as if it were the last time. Well, congratulations. It's finally getting steamy in the asphalt jungle. I don't believe you've made it this far, especially with a score like yours. Has John won over Jane with his heroics? Will he finally turn his life around and marry the woman of his dreams? Or would you like to see something completely different?
John, I'm sorry, but there's something I have to tell you. Oh, God. Here it comes. She has some dark secret. She's got a boyfriend. I knew it. Someone this gorgeous has to have a boyfriend. Oh, my God. What if she has the disease? Yes, what is it? I'm a virgin. Holy mother of God! This is unbelievable! A woman of her looks and she's still chaste? Unspoiled? And she wants me? I'll be the first? I don't believe it. I'm gonna marry a virgin! In the 90s! Impossible. God, it's dirty work, but somebody's gotta do it. Okay, so you have a disability. You're not alone, you know. There's lots of people with hidden disabilities. It's not a problem for me. But it is a problem. I know, I know. You think sex is dirty and disgusting. So you're saving it for someone who you really love, right? You don't understand. I want to stay a virgin. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Marrying a virgin's one thing, but being married to a virgin is another. Who ever heard of a virgin wife? I, 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 I don't understand. I'm going to become a nun. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Sure, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> now, come on, stop teasing me. I'm serious. I love you, Jane. I really do. And I love you, John, in ways that you'll never know. You see, ever since I was a little girl, I've known in my heart that I would serve God. But to do that, I have to sacrifice many pleasures. The moment we met, I knew you were a kind, gentle man, despite your kinky motorcycle gear. I love you, John, but I have a destiny. You do understand, don't you? But, 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 I just saved your life. Don't you think you could reconsider? Maybe just for today? Maybe give me some quality time. John, I'm not a prude. I've dated men. In fact, they called me a PT in high school. I never did figure out what that meant, but I've never, ever given any of them quality time. Come with me to church this Sunday, and I'll show you some real quality time. But wait, wait. You see, I have this problem. It's congenital. Had it from the day I was born. Oh, you poor thing. What is it? Can I help? Well, you see, I get these urges deep down inside. Sometimes they're uncontrollable, unless it's taken care of, like, right away. And you're having those urges right now? Oh, it's bad. I mean, really bad. Maybe you could just help me out this one time. I was born with the same problem. And one time, the urge became almost uncontrollable. Yes, and... and it came very, very close. And, and, and what happened? It was awful. I bet it was. What, what, what happened? Please, details. It took all my strength. The devil was in my soul that night. But I fought him off and, thank God, saved my virginity. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank God. And thank you for saving it for me. My life would have been ruined if I had lost it. Oh, yeah. Ruined. Saving virgins is my specialty. I'll pray for your soul. Right. He could use that. Can I at least buy you dinner? Oh, I'd love to, but I've already got plans at my mother's. What a nice son. By the way, nice tie. Your mother give it to you? You guessed it. Well... You've done it again, what can I say? All John wanted was a little nookie, and you matched him with a nun wannabe? And now he's headed for dinner with his mother, who's arranging a shotgun wedding. Fine ending you created. You'll never eat lunch in this town again.
I've never felt like this before. Never. Me either. Ever. should go somewhere and park. Uh, I mean talk. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. What, talk or park? Talk, for now. <laughs> I'm just testing. What about your work? I thought today was real busy for you. You just cleared up my schedule. get started on the wrong foot here. There's something you have to know. Yes? What is it, dear? Well, you see, it's about my work. Um, 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 I'm really a plumber. Oh, I just love your sense of humor. You're such a joker. No, I'm serious. I'm really a plumber. John, plumbers don't wear ties. Now, come on, stop fooling around. I know. Why don't we get something to eat? I'm hungry. You have plans for dinner? Uh, no, I don't have plans for dinner anymore. Then why don't we go to my place? I'll cook something for you. You cook? Well, if it doesn't work out, we can call for pizza. That sounds great. What? My cooking or my pizza? It doesn't matter. You've got me eating out of your hand. Now, let's just pretend I was a plumber. Would it matter to you? No, stop it. You're such a jokester. I'm really a plumber. My nickname's Rooter. Okay, what if I was a janitor or, or a garbage collector? Would it matter? John, I love who you are right now. What's wrong with being an account rep? What's the big deal? Why do you want to be someone you're not? Just be yourself, John. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just so long as you're not a lawyer. But don't insult me, Jane. I'd rather be a plumber. Are you sure you want to meet my mother? 